got the third thrust now that I don't need. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Bragg. Hello. From Braggio, I yes, guess. Yes! He said it! Woo! Um, yeah, I should actually have content on that channel this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocking. I know. Woohoo. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, let's start with Bragg. Uh, very, pretty quiet week. I spent all week building pearlies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's done. So we'll see how they go on Tuesday. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I... Wait, you're I, coming in on Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, I'm on early, sh- I'm on early shifts this week. Oh my god. So I can definitely not make that work. I apologize. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... It should be okay, <laughs> maybe? The deck's... It's not, it's not great. It's not shit. <laughs> so in terms of Wollongong, the amazing defender set lives and dies with the pair of you. Yes. We yes. <laughs> um, are carrying that set. I know what I must do. And yes, uh, no, it's up to us. No Makunko. Yeah, I need the Ohimes. Like, uh, me and Paul spent like all week talking shit about Makunko again. And it's so good. It can put up some cool boards. But you need the Ohimes. And I'm just not in the place to keep spending $70 on Ohimes when I know it's just suboptimal. Yeah, spending big money on fun decks never feels fun. Yeah. Like, I best offered a guy on eBay. Like thirty or forty, and like fight, immediately fires back with seventy. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> I think the action. I think his auction ended up going up to that close to that point. So the people are out there, but I'm not one of those people. See, if it was a dude card, he wouldn't have a problem because it's a woman card. Yeah, oh, but it's also it's pretty good. It's just this level six that summons itself. Yeah. Like surely that's all right. They'll be all right eventually when they kill every other level six extender. We get to that point. When all the bestials are gone, then maybe a Hime will have a time to shine. Until that day. But bestials are bad now. I That's listened to Jesse Cotton. That's a good point. Bestials are bad now. He didn't say they were bad. He I said didn't they watch were, the video, I'm sorry. Very, yeah, well, <laughs> for anyone who did watch it like I did, um, maybe not at 5 o'clock in the morning like I did, um, he, he did an 8 minute video where the title was A Bestial's Bad Now and spent 8 minutes explaining. It depends. <laughs> like, it was basically his thing was like, just wait and see what these next YCSs do, see what the deck breakdowns are. If Tears still good, they're great. If Tears not good, eh. When we all know Tears gonna be good. Well, at Orange, I had cut him, which I haven't been on the pod since Orange. I went terribly, but thanks for everyone uh, coming out. Um, uh, six times six. Yeah, that was hot. It was hot. I'm pretty sure you covered it. Hot as balls. Hot. But, eh, what do you do? Crashed out. Um, yeah, but I didn't. I, put, I bought Bists in the side deck. And it actually kind of worked out because I didn't verse any team matches, so... Because obviously I was on the lower tables. What do you do? Ah, uh, yeah, so... I can see how there's not a place for him, but that was my win. There's definitely um, positives and negatives, but I was hoping for a more definitive uh, call from Jesse Cotton rather than just, ah, just take a look, right. see what you think. Do you think you're going to see Tier? Put him in. If you think if you think you're not going to see him right away, put him in the side. They're just, they're just DD crows on meth. No, uh, a bit, bit stronger. Steroids. Crack. Well, I mean, that's a different breed. Yeah, it's a different breed. Yeah, Magnum parties. <laughs> Fights hard. Hits the board, invites his friends. Yeah, yeah. He, he's not about the the crack. He's on the on the the good shit. <laughs> you just gonna leave me hanging I, there? I was. Yeah, look, I was <laughs> not gonna I, transition I, out of that. Look, yeah. Well, I was trying to think if I decided to extend that joke and make more illicit drug references, but I decided to, against it. You decided ben. to just think. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna live in He's the moment cooked. For a second. He's cooked. <laughs> anyway, Ben, how was your week? I can't remember. Ah, yeah, uh, cooked. Okay. Cooked. <laughs> so, well, I played. Oh yeah, I played Fireman. Yeah. Yeah, that was how my week went. How did it go? It went alright. Like at no point did I feel like the deck was fucking terrible. Uh, hard losers to Imperm. That's something to keep in mind. Mm. Like Who'd have hard it? losers to Imperm. Um, oh yeah, it's not horrendous like the standard combo you still at least have like a nightmare unicorn and whatever the else was left in your hand but hey who knows it's yeah quite they're, fun they're cheap fun yeah there. what are cheap. you doing yeah. Is it cheap? yeah 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 the, the, hydra, the hydrants are like eight bucks now yeah <laughs> uh, if you live in america 
I very much suggest buying this deck because on TCG Player it's like 30 bucks. It's hilariously cheap. It's fun to play. Yeah, leave it in Binder, something won't happen eventually. I need to get a Rukalos because you can make Rukalos in it now. Yeah. Um, eh? Yeah. I'm playing Instant Fusion so that you can one card Rukalos. I am. On that note, I'm. Just play TR. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're milling to then turn on your turbulence if you just open the turbulence. Yeah, Shara's in Pearly as well. I by feel like way. you're just making it hard on yourself. No, you played Tear, but... and now you're getting all these Tear cards back so that you can play Tear. No, I'm playing Fireman. Shara and Best Extender. I hope they Sharon's don't. Shara such a good extender. Which we'll get to. I... Yeah, we'll chat about yeah, that in a minute. Uh, Sharon discarding and milling three, just in random ass fucking rogue decks, is actually so good. It's. It's also, yeah, it's kind of crazy just if they do, when they do start limiting all those monsters, just those little packages of yep. a Shire and Instant Fusion and Triple P, like, that can generate a lot of stuff for other decks in future. Like, it's, they're yep. really good. <laughs> Tear is so good. <laughs> just the fact that you can just be like, oh, so Shirin discard Mill 3, yep, cool. Now I have a Dweller, and now I'm going to do the rest of my combo. Yeah. It's so free. It's great. It's fantastic. Anything else? Uh, no, just my fireman, which... And, uh... It... Apparently just is a hard counter to Salamine Grit. Because going second, you just keep going. Like, you get stopped, you go... I made a heater. I'm gonna bring back your neck, your card now. Now here's my access code. My access code's gonna pop the rest of your shit. I still have more cards to go here. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Free. Yeah, that was a string match too, so we'll be able to see that. In the no, no, match. that was against uh, Kurt playing Blackwings. Oh, was he two. went full combo in game one. I went full combo game two. He went full combo game three. Done. Yeah, I think it was more the Bernie synchro that um, gave you problems in that particular matchup, from what I can recall. No, there was one that like just randomly popped two on Sana, and I was just, that was oh, the yeah. exact moment where I was like, oh, I'm out of resources. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Matter resources. So I, I needed those two monsters to go into a link to it out the Appaloosa, uh, so that okay. I could finish my combo with a set four and pass. And then he popped two, and I was like, "Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is not ideal." No, uh, but yeah, that was my week. So uh, my week. Um, oh, we also had pre-release today. Mm. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, I guess at the end of my week. Um, so my. Tuesday, um, I don't think I got to play Monday. From Yeah, no one went in on Monday. We were ready. The people that said they were coming didn't come, so it didn't happen. Uh, Tuesday, um, again, playing uh, Shizu T. Uh, ended up winning again, because there's no OTS. Apparently I can only win when there's no value in the prize at the end. <laughs> um, but I finally got to beat Flunder in the final match. Cause, you disappoint um, me, Jake. Why? Because you've been playing through Element for like the past... Well, I enjoy the deck. Just because you, no, you, you no, don't no, enjoy no, no, the no, deck. No, 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 You played Terra Element for all this time, and here, four months later, you're sitting here like, I finally got to beat Flunderies this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because every other week, I get fucking demolished if I verse Flunder. Every other week. Sure. I like beating decks that I did struggle it, to beat. Did it come down to draws? Uh, so did it come down to luck, or do you think you're playing it better? Oh, there's definitely interactions that I was better with this time around. Um, and, yeah, just being able to see certain cards that I've sighted in. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sighting as heavily for Thunder as what other tier players are. Like, I've not got Zombie World and stuff in the side, so I pro probably could make that match up much easier for myself if I just had more counters in there. That's but I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, um, but yeah, one on Tuesday, and then, um, as Ben said, uh, we had pre-release today. Uh, so, I went in knowing that I was going to buy at least two boxes. I just I just knew that, because I, I felt the need to crack some packs. Um, out of my first two boxes, uh, I pulled very well. Uh, pulled the Cashier Z, the Cashier Ultra, um, the uh, Thrust. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and some other stuff um, and then uh, sold the two cash tier cards to then buy another box yeah. pulled another thrust <laughs> uh, and some other stuff uh, then sold the two thrust because I've got a place that on the way yeah. to get another box pulled a third thrust <laughs> my god in Kurt's entire case he only got four 
and in four boxes I got three. Thrust. How many? Uh, Thrust. How many? Two cash tier drillments getting around. Um, not that many. In my four boxes, I only got one. Um, oh, one? Yeah, one. That's tough. That's tough. But in saying that, um, Kurt pulled one in his pre-release packs. Oh, my pre-release packs were garbage. Um, yeah, he pulled one in his. I pulled one in mine, and then I bought one already. So I've got my playset sorted. So the store got a good allotment this time around. Uh, I don't know how much. Is I'm going to say probably four cases. I don't know. How yeah, much is that's all. That's all right. For so pre-order. two cases have gone out for pre-orders. Yeah. Um, quite a, a bit was bought. Maybe six or so. Uh, probably closer that. to eight or nine boxes were bought today. So there's maybe a case and a bit left. Nice, nice. Plus, they will be out of product if there was only three cases. Yeah. So hopefully, there's another case. Hmm. Hopefully, there's another case. Oh, just order more. Make but more. in saying that, they also got Darkwing Blast in, so like there is some decent stuff to get if for whatever reason they happen to run out. I just keep pulling Magnum Woods. I need to sell the Magnum Woods I've got before <laughs> yeah, I open it anymore. Do. I just they just keep turning up. Such um, a problem, Brag. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the the boxes that I bought today were very good. Um, still some money to make on those because a lot of the cards that I have in like the higher rarities, like I've got another Cashier Z. Um, I've got the third thrust now that I don't need. And there's a heap of stuff that I can the just get rid of. Um, yeah, I'll, I pulled one of those and the Ultra as well. Um, oh, that's right, yeah, because you're wrong. Jake tried to sell them to me and I said, Ha! I'll see you in three weeks when I'll pay you $2. <laughs> um, yeah, and then it feels kind of bad because like, I had the ability to buy a fifth box, but I was like, well, look, at this point, I've pulled really well. I don't think a fifth box would be that um, big a benefit. <laughs> there uh, a 50 50 chance that there was a Starlight in that box. So, uh, yeah, it gets to distribution of our pre-release packs, um, and Kyra starts opening her packs, and lo and behold, the, the pack queen opens the Starlight Mirror Jade. Yes. Could be mine, in theory. Could have been yours instead. But it's okay. Look, no, for, not those, for those kind of things, like, considering how well I pulled, I just didn't see myself getting the Starlight in the next box. It's just not how the world works. The world that you do pick that up no Kyra still gets it in the next box after in the next case I was worried when she bought her box before the packs were distributed that it was going to be in that box and then she pulled garbage in that box I was like oh, there's still chance <laughs> there's um what you how was your pre-release Ben uh my pre I got the cashier field spell from my packs for sealed you, oh, did. Nice. you did uh I sold to the store and then from my prize packs I Ooh. got a lot of prize packs and got a lot of garbage okay. yeah so I believe the most valuable card that I pulled was the common uh Yeah. <laughs> that was the oh, most valuable card. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, in my first box I got a play set of Baldrakes, so I'm very happy. Oh yeah, I should start picking those up. I, yeah. Really yeah, sure. yeah. I don't think you'll struggle to find them. They seem vet like <laughs> sweet. I opened twenty packs and got one. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it might be. Is the short probably... print common back? That's the question. Well, that's the thing. Like I said, I've got I got three in a box, and I haven't checked the rest of them. So there's potential yeah. that I'm swimming no, in sure places. Ever been three in a box. Card I learned exists today. A level two that specs itself to the board on a coin toss. Oh it's yeah, copper vase, um, but it's a monster. So it specs itself to either player's field and draws two cards. Yeah, yeah. For oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. called couple of aces. Yeah. It's actually pretty funny. I had to There's reread the text cards. so that if it was if this card is special summoned, draw two cards. But no, it's if it's special summoned by its effect, draw two cards. So it summons the opponent's board, they draw two. Imagine if you could summon off gigantic sprite and draw two cards. Yeah. Like, why would you summon the Iperia when you need to summon this? <laughs> Elf off turn, bring it back. Yep. My draw God. two cards. The dream. Yeah, I the can dream. see why it doesn't say what it be says. Funny. Um. Yeah. It's so Is there anything else cool from the set that I'm gonna want? Do you run that card and sprite as a 50-50 combo starter? As an extender? I feel like there's better choice of extender, surely. Well, there's a 50-50 chance that it starts your entire combo and you draw two cards. Gentleman's agreement always lands on heads. Oh, you side it in Cash Tira. I mean, like when you verse in Cash Tira and you mm. hope that they get it. <laughs> That's actually not a bad shout. <laughs> That's not terrible. And then you summon Ibli as well. Like, just yeah. further lock them. Clear your board. This is not a bad shout, Jake. <laughs> Genuinely. I am the large brain. It's not a bad shout. <laughs> watch, I might watch that card never see play. <laughs> I, I might legitimately side this deck, this card, for going first. Especially the 
That's better than that. It turns on thrusting. And it turns on thrusting because it summons to their board and draws two cards. A oh. couple of aces is busted. In Sprite. Couple of aces is busted in Sprite. Oh, learn. It, it could be good in any deck. It could be. But could it's be not. Any deck. Any deck. Any inscriptions around? Great Keeper's inscription. Oh, I pulled one of those. It's pretty good, but... I'm it's not sure very it selective. It's... Yeah, the timing of it's awkward. If you could just search it off thrusting and then use it, it'd be great, but you cannot. <clears throat> Kaku's better. <laughs> oh, uh, that's what the Chaos shit was in this, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't understand the Chaos cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, they're confusing. They're yeah. too restrictive. We've had too many good Chaos cards. These cards are too restrictive. I opened that Chaos Fear so many times and I'm like, I don't have anything to do with this. I opened... All of my Kashira spells and traps that I put in simply because I had one copy of Kashira. To I, did I did say that. I did say that. Was, that was nice. Um, yeah, so that was pre-release. Um, so the ratios of most things don't look too bad. Yeah, it, well, because it's a set, Jake. There, technically, there are no short prints. Clumping is the only issue. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It didn't seem all that clumped either. No, it seemed clumped. Clumped towards us getting thrustings. Yeah. <laughs> Because there was, <laughs> what, we saw seven thrustings today? Yes. Maybe eight? I wasn't quite paying attention. No, seven, because Kurt got four in his case, and I got three yeah. in my box. Four in a case means it's clumped, because it's meant to be 2.4. So, yeah. They also got, like, no Gravekeeper. Oh, yeah. I oh, true, they didn't get any of that. So but also, seven. like, of the two... You'd prefer to see thrusting. Yeah, over. I'd much rather see four thrusting you can, than yeah, because you can two, sell this because you can sell yeah. the spare thrusting and get the place out yeah. of the garbage cart. Yes. Um. Yeah, and I got all my Dogmatica stuff too, which garbage. I'm pretty hyped to play at some point. That'll be my fun deck. Garbage. Blue cards. My fun deck is gonna be couple couple of aces turbo. <laughs> Are you is gonna play a... cup of aces so you can draw it? So 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 so. Oh, so Ben's brain is firing. You know how. Originally, you can search Max C in Sprite. Yeah. yeah. But you special it and you bounce it with Swap Frog. Yeah. You special oh, couple you... of aces, you bounce it with Swap Frog. <laughs> then you couple of aces. You either draw two, or you turn off your opponent's cashier place. They get to draw two. Yeah, and then I'm you, more about the draw two. Them. Oh my god. You challenge them into card destruction. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Make shit up. Is there a spell card in the game that rips cards from hand that isn't on the ban list? No. Tactics. No. Yes, you could, thrusting into tactics, look at their hand, snipe a card. <laughs> it's so weird. Anyway, uh, but that's a fun thing that we could do later. Um, so, uh, in terms of news, there's not a lot, but there is... There's plenty of news, Jake. Such as? Start the news. What's the first point of news you have? It was 25th the first point of news... What? The video. Oh yeah, that video was weird. It's yeah. like they. Look... So yeah, um, I watched this video. It goes for like maybe a minute. It just looked like they copied the Marvel intro. Oh cool. I yeah didn't click that video, and I was like, hopefully someone tells me what this video was because I'm not going looking for it again. It's literally just snippets of what they've done over the last 25 years. So it had bits of the animes in it. It had like a brief flash of the start of Master Duel where it just flashes up Duel, yeah. and I think like a couple Duel. other snippets of games that almost have nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was kind of odd. I thought there might be something at the end of it, but nah. there wasn't. Okay. It was Some just a fun little minute video. minute and a half my life that I did save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But now you've spent another minute and a half talking about it, so really you've saved no time at all. No, this was more entertaining. <laughs> uh, wasn't it? Other than that, though, more importantly announced from Konami was the 2023 World Championship. Oh, um, yeah. Proclamation, I'm going to Worlds. Yeah. I kind of want to go. I'm qualifying this year, Jake. I'm going to Worlds. Oh, wow, he's doing it. Even if I don't qualify, I'm going to Worlds. Yeah. I'm going to sit in that crowd and I'm going to clap. Yeah. Have they said... When did, an OCG player they dominates use... someone from the TCG, I'm going to Do they a... usually let in spectators? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully, and hopefully they do... Uh... Come with me, Jake. Come with me. Because you, you can combine it with the Pokemon, too. I Get really... If, if they're weekend after each other... Yeah. Incredible. I, I don't think they will be. I think they'll be, like, first and last. Yeah, yeah. That's... But if they're back-to-back... Because, -back, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's I mean, Yu -Gi -Oh's Worlds is usually first or second, right? It's usually second. Usually second. But it has been the first every yeah. now and then. And Pokemon's probably last, isn't it? 
it it's sometimes second or third or and sometimes last. Imagine if they're in the same weekend in this, Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, oh. That'd be cheaper. Yeah. That'd be Where you just swing by. That should be a bars. mad weekend too, because all the Pokemon people would be there. Like yeah. um, Blake and Lewis would be going. Yeah. So well, originally be... I was just gonna go for Pokemon Worlds. Yeah. And now this is on. I'm like, I'd rather go to this. I'll just do both. Get yeah, last dos. Um, yeah, so they will be doing a uh, world championship for the TCG, Duel Links, and Master Duel. Um, there was a thing that flashed up on Master Duel when I logged in last night that um, they will be hosting events in order to qualify within Master Duel um, over the next coming months. FTK? No. They've hit too many cards on that ban list indirectly. <laughs> Every ban list, there's a sneaker card in that's like, eh, he's a little bit off FTK. Oh, he's another. Did we talk about the ban list? The Master Duel one last week? Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, of course. I put so that's coming into that. effect uh, tomorrow? What day is it today? Just, yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Did they see Brainerd falling out of favour? Sorry to just pivot there. We can get back to Master Jewel in a second, I guess. Judging off of, um, like, recent sort of tier things in Master Duel, Brainerd has sort of fallen off. Yeah, did they just see Brainerd falling off coming so they just didn't hit it? So it's the exact same of what happened to us in TCG, where it's like, oh, we'll leave Brainerd alone. Lot. It'll it, start sucking eventually. It happened a lot faster in um, oh, the yeah. TCG. Yeah. It, that deck was relevant well, TCG, for a very small amount of time. You also have this thing called a sideboard. Yeah, there is that too. Which very, very easily was used to stop Brainerd. And the other thing is, too, in Master Duel, there's just so many different variants of decks you could possibly face. Like, you may have two or three matches in a row where you're just versing Branded, yes. and then all of a sudden a DDD player crops up, or, like, some random Tri-Brigade Melfi deck, and you're just like, hmm. what the fuck is he doing? I lose to this. <laughs> so World is in Tokyo? Yes, in Tokyo, in August. They haven't announced a date. Yeah. Um, it does also have a uh, caveat on it, basically, that they <laughs> can yeah. uh, cancel the event or change the date at any time with no notice. Uh, so ah. just keep that in mind. Um, if you are keen to go, if there is issues, it may change. Do I book my flights last second? Maybe. Well, that's what I have to do for, for, like, for Pokemon, because they leave it till June. Mm. Like, yeah, so... Mm. two months out like locking in I think I'm just going to take the punt and I might even I was talking to Tom last night of doing booking two sets with cancel cancellations and just go oh if the two if these are the two weekends yeah I'll keep these well if it's these two I'll keep these okay but then you've got to pay insurance for the flights so it's going to be rough yeah I've got a mate there so I'm I'm going to be okay but He's gonna be out in the country, so like he's gonna like it's gonna be a little uh, bit of a trek back in. So I'm gonna have yeah. to get a hotel for the actual tournaments. Yep. But yep. so I'll be a right to fly in and just hang out. But yeah, capsule hotel, capsule hotel, capsule hotel. I'm tempted. Oh, I'm even like doing just getting <laughs> night buses and going because I'm gonna go all the way down again, go down to Hiroshima. I haven't gone north. Should go north. It gets cold if you go north. Although it will be the middle yeah. of fucking summer. Yeah, my mates over another mate of mine's over there at the moment is posting stuff from the slope. So I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> bring me back some loot from the Pokemon Center mm. he won't so, uh, so yeah uh, just briefly again back to Master Duel uh, so the new ban list comes into effect tomorrow they have also got an update as tomorrow uh, possibly not 100% sure but possibly that's when this new set comes in um, I haven't been not able to find any information as nine to what's days gonna... away anyway it may um, or they may just have the what's announcement of what it what? That's when one of the packs expires, but there's a pack no, they, that expires they, sooner than that. Labyrinth expires in nine days. Yeah, but they do packs overlaying, all, overlapping all the time. There's currently two that are out, though. No, the other ones. No, they've had. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over. So I mean, yeah. they they can bring a third to overlap but again. The, the third was like that random side reprint set, though. Oh. I had like two new branded cards in, and then the rest were reprints, effectively. Yeah. It depends on what they. It's like a rarity increase set or something. Just give a sprite. I want to play sprite. We're getting sprite. Yeah. Because totally awesome spam. Yeah. Yeah, there was no other reason. But to when? Card. Now. Give it now. We will get it now. And then very soon. Very, very start, least. we'll have to play fucking all those random ass versions we've concocted. Starfrost is yeah. in it, right? I pulled my nimble sunfishes today. Thesis. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, um, Scarecrow's out. Of course it is. Scarecrow's actually really good in there because you no, can mix not. it. It is. No, it's not. I it thought that fucking is Ben. I thought that I've never lost to it. How many times have you burst it? Actually, surprisingly often. Every time I'm like, oh no. Anyway. You hate scare claws. Damn. Yeah. This is so sad. It's bad. It's not bad. It's fine. It's bad. If you build it properly, it's more than fine. 
I'm not sure about more than fine. <laughs> I think fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I would say it's more than fine. Like, you can mix it really well with Travagate, and then it's got a lot more interaction. And, like, the semi-floodgate thing of, like, anything that's in defense can't do anything. So, like, you just can't get at the Link monster. What if you just don't worry about it? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, you, just, you literally don't So, care. again, this falls down to the fact that you're playing a cancer strategy and you're like, oh, well, I don't care if my shit's in defense mode. I'm still burning you. Yes. Shut up. Oh, anyway. Oh, that's why he doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, there's various reasons. Also, you can just deck them out. Anyway, no one cares. Give <laughs> a sprite, uh, give a sprite, so, give a sprite, give a sprite. Yeah, so soon enough we'll know exactly why Toad got banned. More than likely sprite. If it's not, question why. Anyway, um, actually, the bigger question in that is if they do decide to release Tier Element the with time, Sprite. That'll be... I. They will, and it's going to be dumb as fuck. I just want Sprite first. I want, and that's the thing. So we've been in the branded stuff where, like, the, let us continue branded, then Bitter Springs, whatever, and then bring in... Come back to Tier. Is Springs Pedo out of jail yet? <laughs> I'm not going to dignify that. Moving on. Uh, so, last week, when we were talking about Photon Hope and Over, we only knew about four of the five Starlights. Uh, the fifth was revealed, and the fifth is shit. It's so bad. It I'm... is... I don't even know what the name is. Oh, wait, no, I have it here. Oh, is it in the Gold Ace? Uh, gold Pride, yeah. Captain Carey. Yeah, so, uh, I find it funny. There was... One place was doing pre-releases on the Starlights. They were doing, like, pre-order pricing. And they intentionally priced one of them low factoring in that if the other one was good it had to slot into like one of the middle price brackets but no it's the low price one <laughs> so shit yeah they really should stop yeah. doing tcg exclusive archetypes that aren't good in a starlight i can forgive the pendulum fusion thing i cannot <laughs> i refuse I to forgive, forgive that one <laughs> but again it's a woman jake it confirms again that mira jade is a woman <laughs> But then you've got Grand Wignol, which has a woman in it, it to be fair. Yep, yep, a yep. Rise Heart, which is absolutely a dude. No, it's not. It is. It's Visus. It's Visus' alter ego. No. Yes. No. Yes. Is Visus a dude? Yes. Yes. How do you tell? Oh, I don't want to do this. No, I'm not getting into that conversation. <laughs> uh, Blacephalos the third, Or second, I should say. Also a dude. Exactly. Dude. Oh, did I say that? Yeah. yeah. Ah, confirmed. Also, he said it. He said it. He said it. He said it. It's Shearing's wife. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they've clearly just put this in because it's a woman and they hadn't done one properly in that whole set. So they're All just like... All Starlights are woman cards. <laughs> All of them. Even the trap cards. <laughs> and the spells. Triple tactics talent. Woman card. Captain Carey is a level 3 fiend. Does that ever come up? Normal no. summon tool guy. You don't think in 10 years? Oh, maybe in 10 years, but fucking in what, 10 years. Is it a years... tuna? No. no. Well, so it's fine. You can use it to make Dante. Oh, good. Yeah, because there, there was a shortage of level 3s that you could use to make Dante. <laughs> yes, there was. No, no, there wasn't. What have they banned them all, Jake? We need to have more. Oh, yeah, because they've got BA on their it's, thing. It's floating you clearly... effect. absolutely sucks, though. God, You're clearly off the rails. You need to calm down. No, I'm not. Talking about bans that are likely to happen, uh, we do have an impending ban list, whether it's when I think, whether it's when Ben thinks, whether it's neither of those, it March. does not matter. So, effective day. what do we feel is going to happen on this ban list? You reckon March what the 1st is the effective day? Yes. No way. Why wouldn't it be? They always, they, they just fucking throw shit at the wall. They can't time it to be 1st of. 1st of May. March. Ah, uh, May. You know what? Because they, they did 1st okay. of January You one. pushed it back! Yep. I do you really think they're gonna go I through the, the rest of this month and another two? I am of the this. descendant of Archibald H. Konami. I have control over this, Jake. You don't have control of shit. I, I'm gonna say the Konami people were called Archibald. Yes. I don't think that was a family name getting around. No. Just so putting it out there. I think he's lying. You know, I've thought that for some time. <laughs> I feel attacked. Me Good. and my... Good, it's the first time <laughs> that <laughs> I've actually had someone on my side to attack you. I'm Usually Blake's on Archibald. the other side doing his fucking bird calls. <laughs> That's pretty close. Yep, yeah, it's not hard. Uh, so, 
what are we feeling for this ban list? What? Uh, well, let's talk about what's in at the so moment. So he's predicting March 1st. That's his prediction. Yes. March 1st. No, he week. changed it to May. True. Eh, either or. <laughs> if it's not one, it's the other. Yeah. Yeah, there's not another two yeah. months in no, between that. No, no. Uh, it's, 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 if we don't get a ban April, list now, it um, will be in six months. I <laughs> generally don't think Kelami gives a fuck at this point. Um, so, yeah. Very civil and forthright discussion. Tell us yours, Jake. Actually, no, I'll go first. Since yeah, you guys I asked research- you first. Yeah, but you guys researched this, and I'm doing this off the fly. Um, I do not think they will ban uh, Two Elements Clado Hub. Uh, not Clado Hub, Kikalis, that one. Mm. They will not ban it. Mm. Instead, I see them putting Sheer into one, mm. Triple P to one, Ooh. Uh, and Havanus to one. You, s- you um, see them doing Triple P before Ray Prince? Yes. I think we're too far out for them to worry about reprints. That's fair. The deck is too good, and they worry about reprints, it will kill the game. To be fair... Yeah, if they want a second runner trying to make money on tier element, then the TCD the disc is going to fall apart. Yes. If they intentionally hold off on banning this stuff or limiting this stuff, I think that's the reason why they don't ban Kikalis. I think they try and stretch it a little bit more. They try and get three more months out of it. But yeah. Uh, so those three limited... Uh, also, probably, given that they're not going to reprint the Ishizu cards, uh, probably the Ishizu cards he's going to one as well. Or at the very least, the good ones. So you might see Kelbeck. But do you think they take a TCG look at the good ones or an OCG look at the good ones? A TCG look at the good ones. <laughs> the ones they limited in the OCG were the shit ones. So probably Kelbeck and the woman one. Kelbeck and Keldo? Do you reckon they put uh, the other yeah. two to two or sure. anything else? No, nah, the other two can say at three. They suck. Um, <laughs> look, if my yes, opponent hits they me do with suck a Nagito, I'm man. like, ah, cool, don't worry. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got those guys going to one. Uh, on the bands, Wind Barrier Statue. Uh, wow. Probably needs to be hit. He's attacking the birds. Yeah, Wind Barrier Statue going to be backed. Uh, next off, Sprite Elf to one. Uh, Sprite Elf... This is simple, yeah. But this, so this is a hit to Sprite, not to everything else. And this is a prediction, not a what you think should happen, yes. right? <laughs> yes. Sprite Elf to one, simply as a Sprite hit. So Sprite's the third deck in the format. It needs a check. I believe that's the check, so that they can't just freely get another Sprite Elf on the follow up. And Elf's still there for everyone else. Elf is still there. It can splash around and everything else. The card probably needs to be banned. However. It's fine. Put it to one. Sprite still has it. Everything else still has it. It's just a, a slight check to that deck. You've got the Windbarry statue check for Flunderies. You've got to hit the third deck in the format, which is Sprite. And that's your hit to that. Um, well, there is a chance we see Instant Fusion get banned. Mm. Yeah, um, I have that. Instant Fusion getting banned is definitely something we can probably see happen. Um, and then for my cards coming back... I don't know. I don't know what's on the ban list. What's li- what's semi limited? I can't remember. Yeah, that's like uh, when they. This is why we invited you to but take a look. They have thinned out the semi limits uh, at the moment. It's malicious. I don't have any equipment. Malicious uh, Starling and Desires. I uh, restart a Starling can be at three, and Desires can go to three. Both of them to three. Clean up the semi limit list. Clean it up. I tell you, they can both go to three. Um, and then you know what? That's it. Nothing crazy's coming off the ban list. Maybe Snatch Steel. <laughs> like, change of hearts at one. And no one's realistically using it. Yeah, it's, Snatch- a, it's a solid side deck card. Snatch Steel's the same thing. Uh, yeah. Who gives a fuck? Oh, yeah. And fucking Mick just can do it anyway. Yes. <laughs> they have their own Snatch Steel. Archetypal Snatch Steel. Yeah. Or not even Archetypal. Like, you can just put it into... If yeah, if you wanted to play Snatch Deal, you could just do it now. Yes. And that's my Vanless prediction. That's that's actually a pretty good call. Very much well thought out. Pretty mad. That I didn't think <laughs> well <of> that. established. <laughs> Brag. Uh, uh Merlin one. Merlin one. Yeah. The bad one. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's bad. Uh so I have instant fusion zero. Merlin one. Oh, I have this to one. I reckon they do both shufflers to one, Kelbeck to two. Oh. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Desires to three. 
Is there any like what's what's the thing I've been harping on about wanting for ages? Oh, I... Harp. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I could do Harp to one. There's been a little bit of hype from... So, yeah, with, like, if they wanted to capitalise on the people that have just been playing Master Jewel themes all for, like, the last two weeks, you could bring back Harp to try and go, Oh, August, it's back. Come and try it before you... And then get your shit to kicked in. Like, it doesn't need to be on there anymore. Any threat that it had has now dissipated. Like, the power creep of recent sets has just meant that that deck is severely underpowered to what else is available. Yes. However, does it lock you to Dark Soul Machines? Darks. That's dangerous. You already have a mill deck in the format. I guess if you just If you're doing all of these, you're going to not have as much utility for that. I mean, if you put it into Relement, you just do it after. Yeah. It's the same with any deck. You do your Relement combo, and at the end you go, whoop, and instead of... So, yeah, you summon the Sprite Elf, you summon back your Merly, you then just banish your Orcus and do that combo. Do we have Ancient Fairy Dragon Arata yet? Yes. Technically, yes. I think it's in the database. So, Ancient Fairy Dragon on one. Yes. Good point, Jibba. Good point, good point. Um, other than that, like... I want metamorphosis as always. Not gonna happen. Just never. Uh, well, we can. I don't see the problem with it. Yeah, there's, there's literally no problem. You don't see the problem with it. No. We have Cyberstein in the format. Yeah, which costs you life points. And? Metamorphosis costs you a monster. Oh no. A monster. Doesn't infusion summon, it can't even bring it back. Yeah. It's not that good a card. It's it's just not good. And it's not even good if you can then search metamorphosis with thrusting. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's good. Your people are out of your fucking mind. What do you mean? Good. <laughs> Tears! I, if, if Metamorphosis is at zero, all the tier cards do basically the same thing. They just summon a good fusion monster for free. It's yes. not that free. It's for free. <laughs> it's for free. It just nah, stops Metamorphosis is still one. I'm sticking with it. Yeah. It's going to be wrong. It's, I'm going yes, with my heart. Of course it's going to be wrong. It should be a three. <laughs> should be a three. Oh. You people are on fucking crack. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one of those cards that just doesn't need to be on the ban list anymore. It doesn't. I feel like you're doing this just to bait me. Like, no, it you, doesn't! You cannot have this opinion. There in... are so many other broken cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! that just end up doing something better. Like, what's the worst thing you can do with Metamorphosis at 3? Make Last Warrior... I have to go now. My planet needs me.